Welcome everybody. So today in this video, what we're going to be going through is building a hourly tracking system for clients in Airtable. So basically what that means is you sell hours and you use hours. So we have one thing that brings hours down, another thing that increases available hours. We're going to build a way where we get notified when hours get below a certain threshold, as well as, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. And yeah, no, notifications when hours go below a certain thing, know what the balance of hours is, how many hours have been used, how many hours were paid for, all that good stuff. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. This is actually the way I operate with clients. And yeah, if you're interested in building systems just like this in Airtable, then you can check out the link in the description and book a call with me or someone on my team. But I'm going to shrink this down and we're going to jump right into it. So at the end of the video, I'll give you some two videos you can go watch if you want to see either how to connect Stripe with a system like this or how to connect your time tracking system with this. But this Airtable base right here, it connects both of those things. So I'll again give those videos at the end, but what those will give you is you'll need to have a way where you have a list of all of your invoices that have been paid and also a list of all the time tracking entries that bring this down. Now I will show, and we will dive into each of those tables right now to see what is in each of those. Okay. So here in this company's table, what we have is we've already added a few rollups or total hours you use, total billable hours, and total non-billable hours. So where do those come from? Each of these comes from a linked record to the toggle field. The toggle field links to the toggle table. And toggle is the tool that I use to do time tracking. So in here, you can see a bunch of different time tracking records. You can see uh, really the important fields is the number of hours that have been used in decimal form, the number of minutes that also technically have decimals on the back end, uh, as well as a linked record to say what company that is at. And basically each of these toggle time tracking records links back to the right company. And on this table, we roll up the total number of hours used. On the toggle table, there are also certain records where I will exclude them from billable hours. So here you can see non-billable right here is checked on each of these. The total number of hours used by each of these records is about 2.967. And you can see that is why 2.967 here shows up as total non-billable hours. So each of these rolls up total hours, total billable hours, total non-billable hours. Now our next step is adding a few roll-up fields for the invoices table to say this is the total number of hours that have been paid for. So let's go over to the invoices table and we'll add a roll, well, the invoices section of this table. So we will roll up from the invoices. We will look at the quantity fields. Actually, let's go over and visit the invoices table first to know what we're rolling up. So each invoice for me, when I invoice, it only has one line item. So aside from it being linked to the company and having a status, it only has one line item. Specifically, that line item has a quantity and a price. What really care about here is the quantity. These are hourly consulting packages. Uh, this is actually the data came in wrong. These are actually $50 and $10, but this is a different story. Here we just want to say this client paid for six hours. So that's what this means. This one invoice was for five hours. The next was for one hour. So on our companies table, real quick on the invoices, each of these invoice records is linked in a linked record back to the company's table. And we can see all of those here in this invoices linked record. Separately, we can see all of the hours that have been used right here. There's a ton of them. So on the company table, this is where all the magic is gonna happen. This is where all the rollups and the formulas are gonna happen. So what I wanna do is I wanna add total hours paid. So this is going to be a roll up field. It's going to look at this invoices table and it's going to look at the quantity field and it's going to sum those. So now I can see they've paid for a total of six hours. 
Separately, I'm going to recreate this toggle time tracking one for total billable hours. So if we go to the toggle table, what I want to do is I want to total up the hours that have been used specifically now where they are billable, meaning that this is empty. So I'll add that here at the end so you can see how that's done as well. So this is going to be a new field. It's going to be a roll up field and it's going to be looking at the toggle linked record. It's going to pull the number of hours from the hours field and it's going to sum the number of hours. We're also going to exclude anything where we, we want to make sure that that non billable checkbox is not checked. So here we have 541.8, make sure that's the right, same thing as here, that's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna delete this field now because it's already created. All right, so we have total hours paid. Now what I wanna do is I also have some invoices that happen to not be for hours and I want to exclude those from hourly calculations. So let's pretend that this one is actually for um, a PDF. And I want to exclude this from hours. This is something I manually check. I just say this is not, this does not go into the hourly calculation. Now back on the company's table, here it says six. We're gonna edit this field right here. So you can double click on the field header, it pops this open. We're gonna add a filter right here and say only show us this where exclude from hours is empty. If I click save, now it's five. That's perfect. So if I go back here, undo the exclude from hours, now here on the company's table, I can see six hours. Okay, so now this should be say total bill billable hours used, total hours paid. Now let's do a formula to say hours remaining. So to get this, we're gonna say total hours paid, or total, yeah, total hours paid minus total billable hours used. And this we'll leave as a decimal to like two decimal places. Okay, so here in this case, a ton of hours have been used. Only six have been paid for. So this client is, they used, we'll pull these over here. So they paid for six, they've used 526, so they're down 520. Okay, so that's all the system is. Now let's do a automation for a Slack message, a Slack reminder, when this gets below a certain number. Okay, so let's go to automations. Let's add a new automation and say when a record matches conditions. So this is hours, remaining notification, we'll say low hours remaining notification. Okay, so in the company table, when that field we just created, hours remaining, I'm gonna say when this is less than or equal to one, I wanna get notified. So I'm gonna choose the record, which is gonna be the record we were just on, and now we're gonna go on. So I just chose then optimize IS. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick an action and it's going to be send a Slack message. All right. So I've already created a little bit of this message because I have this in my old CRM. So I'm going to paste what I have. So I already have a little bit of this from my old CRM, so I'm just gonna paste this in here. And we're gonna see what this looks like. Okay, so what I had was client, and then I had their name. So in this case, I'm gonna have name, and I'm gonna put that in parentheses, has fallen below one hour remaining that are not paid. Please alert them, and then I have the hourly balance. So this is where I come in here and include the number of hours remaining. And then I'll select my Slack account. I'll say it's gonna go into team. And it's gonna go into service delivery. 
All right, so I'm not sure if this is going to work yet, the at channel. So we'll test that out and we'll see what it looks like. But also we will include a bot name and I'll show you how to include an emoji instead of the, so this is gonna be hourly tracking is gonna be the name of the bot. And then how I always do these bot icons and also we're gonna select this. How I always do these bot icons is if I open this up and I come in here, if you type in a colon and then you search for like time or you search for whatever you want your emoji to be, I might want clock. So, okay, so alarm clock. I copy that and I just leave the last colon out of there. And I say the bot icon should look like that. So now I'm going to run this test. Sweet. And that worked perfectly. So I can see it says at channel, that client has fallen below a certain amount of hours and that's perfect. Okay. So that should work just fine. I'm going to click X on that. This is going to get turned on. And that will be this automation. So now we get automated reminders when clients fall below a certain number of hours and you'll always be able to see the balance on any client. Now, as promised, if you want to go check out how we integrated all of this data with Stripe and with Toggle, I'm gonna to include those two videos here in the end screen. So you can click probably like right here for Toggle and right here for Stripe, uh, but you can see exactly how we automatically bring in new time entries as well as bring in new invoices and new payments or new paid invoices. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, but go check out those videos right there in the end screen if you want to see either Toggle or Stripe. See you there.